Okay, I'm going to show you how to do one of the wine totes in a 6 by 10 hooping um, or a, yeah, 260, 200 by 260 or 160 by 260, basically 6 by 10. Okay, so I have my stabilizer hooped and I'm going to do the placement. Okay, it's did the placement stitch for the handles, so I'm going to put my handles on. I'm going to tape them in place right here. And by the way, make sure you have your fabric cut uh, about 7 inches by 28, okay? Let me tape this down and go tack it down and do the placement stitch for the bag. Okay, it's did the tack these down, the handles down. It's did the placement stitch for the, uh, for the bag itself. Let me tear this off. And get it out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna clean that up that I just made a mess of. And I am going to take my fabric and place it down and tape it in place and then stitch my design. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this just like this and tack it down or tape it down and stitch my design. Okay, it did the placement stitch for the bag and now it'll do the circle and the writing. I just wanted to show you it, how it did the placement stitch and that I have my fabric. I have it about a half inch above. You only need it about a quarter inch above the placement stitch, okay? Okay, it stitched my wording and my circle. I'm gonna cut my circle out now. You can do it afterwards, but I'm just gonna do it now. Okay, I did mine raggedy because I want my, uh, that's how I want mine to look like this, okay? So now you're going to pull your fabric back and you're going to slice the bottom near the bottom of your hoop. I'll just follow the bottom of my hoop. Let me make sure you can see this. Okay, it's got to be wider than the fabric. Okay, and then just take and tuck your fabric through like so. And you should already have your fabric cut at least 28 inches long. Okay, so now I'm going to line my fabric up here at the top. Okay, you want the top lined up. I didn't cut this very straight as you can see. I don't even think I cut the top of it. So now I'm going to tape my sides down. And it's the top you need lined up. This bottom bit down here will just stay down there where it is, okay? Okay, I got this tape. Now I'm going to send it over to the machine and do the final stitch. Okay, so it's tacked it all down. There's the back, all tacked down. As you can see, I'm going to cut this top part of my fabric right here off because I don't need it that long. I'm going to take off my tape, take it out of my hoop, loosen it up, open it up, set it aside. Now cut my um, stabilizer out of the way. Both there and there and whatever this random piece of string is cut that out of the way now I am going to um, I would use my rotary cutter but for some reason it's not wanting to cut let me see if it'll work it wouldn't work earlier but then again I could have been doing it wrong I don't know where I put my glasses so yeah oh no this is horrible I think maybe I just need a new blade from cutting all this, so I guess we'll just eyeball it. Cut up the sides. One side. Not sure what this fabric is. I found it in my stash. <laughs> And cut my stabilizer off in between here because I use cutaway, not uh, not the other stuff. 
I can handle my scissors. There we go. Don't want to cut my handle strap off. Okay, there we go. There it is. This is a six by ten. Oops. Put my lights back in my bottle here. There you go. That's six by ten. Thank you.